Good afternoon. Have you ever felt like you've totally, completely messed up? That you've made such a big mistake that you just can't possibly rectify this? That whatever plan God had for you, whatever whatever uh, designs that you have for your own life, they're done, they're finished, they're over, because it's completely messed up. Have you ever felt that way? Listen to this. Reading from Genesis chapter 17, starting verse 1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me faithfully and be blameless. Then I will make my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Abram fell face down and God said to him, As for me, this is my covenant with you. You will become the father of many nations. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you the father of many nations. You continue reading on in the chapter and God tells Abram, Abraham that he's about to have a son named Isaac. And that, that all the promises that God has given him will go through him, through Isaac, and on to his children. My problem is, if you read chapter 16, the chapter preceding this, Abram's been living for 13 years, making decisions, making choices. And one of those decisions, one of those choices, is the birth of Ishmael. And Abram has been believing for the last 13 years that the promise will go through Ishmael. Does that mean that Abram's messed up? Completely knocked himself out of the will of God? Have all his sentiments been misplaced? Have the last 13 years been wasted? The answer is no. Even though there are times when the choices that you and I make that we think will bring solutions to our life and ultimately end up being obstacles that we have to overcome, that does not mean that it's been wasted. You see, with God, there are no dead ends. There are only learning opportunities. They're only training grounds. God never wastes our experiences. You see, too often we think of God's plan for us as this straight line, you know, kind of like driving from Thunder Bay to Vancouver. You get on the Trans-Canada Highway, head out of town, and you stay on it. Don't turn off the highway, don't leave the highway, and if you stay on it, you're going to end up in Vancouver. Any turn to the left or the right from God's plan, from the straight line from here to where I'm going, is a deviation or a pitfall. It would be better to think of it this way. John Walton writes, It's more helpful to think of our lives as a complicated model train set in the basement with inside tracks and outside tracks and many crisscrossing tracks. It doesn't matter whether we're on the inside or the outside or cutting across. Sometimes we may feel that we're going in circles, which is okay, as long as we don't derail. Our goal is not to get somewhere, but to serve. We must remember that we're on the rails, but God is at the switch. What is most important about our faith is not where we are going, but what we are becoming. There are a lot of times when we say to ourselves to pump ourselves up, nothing is too difficult for God. Is anything too hard for God? And that's true. Nothing is too hard for God. But we need to be careful what hard thing 
we think God's going to do. Because he just might take all the choices of our life, all our experiences, and come to you and say, I've got this new thing for you. Just like Abraham, having a son at 100 years old. Have a great day.